I'm going to show you how to use WhatsApp, Meta, AI, including how to use it in chats, how to use it in groups, okay? How to use it to generate an image on WhatsApp. Pretty simple, okay? One, so you have to make sure that, one, the first thing you have to do is you need to make sure that you're running the most up-to-date version of WhatsApp, okay? Then open your WhatsApp. Now, so you look at the Meta AI icon right here. You see this? Okay? This icon right here. Okay? So you're going to tap it. Okay? So the first thing you're going to learn how to chat with Meta AI. Okay? So first thing you have to do is, now when this comes on your screen right now, you actually you see the option of ask Meta AI anything. So this is the part you can actually chat with Meta WhatsApp Meta AI. Okay? So in this portion aspect of message, you can actually ask anything that you want answers for, okay? Maybe what's the meaning? What is the meaning of fun? So when you put that message and then you tap send, it actually generates for you the responses. You can see the concept of fun can be subjective, but here's a general condition. So you can actually see that it actually brings you some of the results. Okay. You see that? That's an, some interesting thing. So literally in this aspect, you can actually pose a question. Okay. As a message, then you tap send and then it generates for you responses. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, another thing is when you're actually chatting with Meta AI, in a chat and you really want to send feedback to meta what you get to do is you look at this option the response given you long press in the response okay then you notice at the top of your screen you see all this you can see this is a thumbs up this is down dislike and all that the delete and what so you can actually decide to, this is a response which is the good response then this is the bad response so if you want to send a good response respect of whatever if you have actually like the meta AI thing, so you can actually use the good response and then show you feedback submitted to meta. Okay. And that's how you actually give a feedback to meta about the response given. Okay. Notice that the meta AI chat comes on top, comes on top right here. Okay. You can actually see that it's now visible as a chat, meta AI chat. Okay. That's one thing. Okay. The other thing is you can actually also, you can also generate an image within this meta AI and this is how you do it. So what you got to do is you want to first put this symbol ad right there. Then you put this symbol as well. Then this comes on your screen. You see the slash imagine. Okay. And then you can actually select imagine now after putting that after selecting that now you're going to write a word that actually describes the image that you really want to have okay so let me give you an example a blackboard black board okay then tap on send so you can actually see that it's actually it's actually you see this okay then you wait for a second you wait for some time and then it generates for you the image you see that that is actually the blackboard so you can actually you can actually Tap here, download it, and then you see the, the image. Okay. You see that that is the image actually generated by the WhatsApp Meta AI. And that's how you actually generate it. Now, coming back. So when you actually go to WhatsApp Meta AI in the WhatsApp group. So we're going to be using this group known as Trio as the group here. We're going to be trying to use the WhatsApp Meta AI. So what you do is when you enter the group now, you see this message option right there so you tap in the message like you're going to really type a message and then you're going to input add okay you already see that the option of meta AI is already showing on top right there so you put add then you put meta okay it's already shown up there then you select it and then right now you can actually put your query right now okay what's the capital city of uganda so so when you put that it actually brings for you the results you know that's what it's actually very interesting so it loads and then brings you there. so this is the result capital city of uganda is kampala which is located near Lake victoria and all that so you can actually use the whatsapp meta ai in your whatsapp group 
and this is actually what it does so you first put the earth then you put meta AI, then you put the query that you actually want okay okay so that's it that's one of the things now this is in using whatsapp meta ai in a whatsapp group now i'm going to show you when you're using whatsapp meta ai in a chat so we're going to be using another chat right here so when it comes to using chats okay so we're going to be using this chat of that particular contact known as charlie right here okay so when you're using select charlie the chat now this is how you actually use okay whatsapp meta ai in a particular contact chat okay so now you go in here so we put in add okay it's already showing you the meta ai option on top right there you see this so you can decide to select it right there then you put the query that you want how maybe how to cook rice okay there you go then it actually analyzes whatever you're putting and then it brings for you the answer to the query that you actually want okay pretty simple isn't it i mean this is actually very interesting from whatsapp so that is the whatsapp whatsapp meta ai okay that's it